waiting. Oh, there you are, kindergartners. I found you. They're very scared. <laughs> it is I, Dr. Curious. Do you remember me? No. Oh, yes. I heard you made some discoveries and decisions for me. Is that true? Yes. Would you like to share them with me? I would yes. love it if you shared them with me. <laughs> so how are you? I'm doing very well, thank you. So, how are we all today? Good. 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 I apologize for interrupting your classroom, but your teacher told me that you had all come to a decision about that mysterious creature in the egg. Yes? So, I was curious to know what you decided, which family you decided our animal was from. And I'm curious to know why you picked that family. So, who would like to share? Who would like to share with me? I'd love to hear from all of you, so let's, let's, let's ask each of you which animal you thought, or what family you thought it belonged to, and what was your, your most important reason, right? What was the number one reason you picked that family? Sound good? Okay, let's start with you right down here at the end. What's your name, Darcy? Wesley. Wesley, tell me. Feathers. What did you pick? Feathers. What about the, who, what family of animals suggests that they, they have feathers? Which one did you pick? A bird, because birds have feathers, is that true? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. How many of you said birds have feathers in your decision, in your videos? Yes. Lots of you. Okay. Let's hear from you, sir. What do you think? What did you think? You said bird, too, huh? What, what about the bird? What made you think bird? Birds lay eggs. Birds lay eggs. Yes, birds do lay eggs. Very good. Very good thinking, science thinking. Yes? Um, it, it has scales. Oh, it had scales. Do birds have scales? No. Yeah. So what animal family did you think your, the animal came from? Um, amphibians. Oh, amphibians. Hmm, that's a different family than birds, yes? I think the bird came from the egg. Oh, you think an, a bird came from the egg? You think our mystery animal is a bird? Yeah, and, the, and I know what his house is called. It's called a nest. Oh, a nest. You know, it's too bad I didn't see a nest with our bird egg. That would have certainly been another science clue, wouldn't it? Yes. Mm -hmm. Let's hear some more ideas about what family our, our animal came from. Yes, go ahead. Um, my animal was a bird. You thought that the animal was a bird, and what made you think it was a bird? Feathers. Feathers? You thought feathers? Wings. Hmm? And wings. Oh, and wings. Our bird had wings. Is that, was that in my science journal? Did you guys read my science journal? Yes, okay. Yep. Let's hear from some other students. I want to hear from all of you. All right, yes. Um, I think it's a reptile Ooh. because it has scales. Oh, you thought that the scales meant reptile. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder what, uh, are there other reptiles with scales that you know of? Hmm? Is that something else that you see or know in reptiles? Maybe. Who else would like to share? Yes. Um, and I oh, 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 hold on. I've heard from you. I want to hear from the, the, the scientist behind you. Yes, go ahead. Um, the cockroaches. Um, mm. Sophia wasn't here when we learned about the Oh, I'm sorry, but you've seen cockroaches. Yes. What? Who can tell me what family cockroaches come from? Insects. What animal family? Insects. Animal tail. Yes, in the back. Insects. Very good. Those are insects. All right. 
I don't think our mystery creature was insects, though. No. Mm. Not too many clues that would say it was an insect. Wasn't Anyone sure. else knew that would like to share? Penny, what did you think? It's fun you say that. My assistants, my helpers back at my lab thought the same thing. Mm. But all scientists, not all scientists always agree with each other. Right? Did everybody agree on the same thing here? No. Not at my lab either. There were many people with different opinions. So I tell you what, I would like to take a vote. Mm. Can we take a vote? on how many of you said the animal was a bird and how many of you said the animal was a reptile. Shall we do that? Yeah. yeah. Okay. We're going to do a secret vote, so I want you to close your eyes and put your hands over your head so that the only one making your decision is you. Yes? Okay, so let's take a vote now. Raise your hand if you thought the mystery animal was a reptile. Okay, I think I've counted those hands. You can put them down. And raise your hands now if you thought the mystery animal was a bird. Okay, very good. You can put your hands down. So do I have a little board here? Yes. So my final answers, the final decision. Was <clears throat> the final vote was reptiles seven and birds nine. Which animal family had more <gasps> votes? Bird. Which one had more votes? Who can Bird. tell me? Bird. Birds? Yes, that's right, because nine is a larger number than seven, yes? Right? You are also bright, such bright scientists. But you know what? What if we didn't know the number nine was a bigger number than seven? We could count up. What if we didn't know how to count well? That would be tricky, yes? Luckily, scientists have a special way to show information. Right? It's called a bar graph. Watch carefully now. Right? On one side, we have all numbers. So, zero, one, can you count with me please? Two, two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Oh, 
We'll stop right there. Right? Now, on the bottom here, we're going to make two bars. We're going to make a bar for birds. And a bar for reptiles. Okay. How many votes did we have for reptiles again? Seven. Seven, right? So I'm going to draw a big, tall bar that goes all the way up to number seven. You see that seven line right there? Do you see how it's the same height as the seven? That is the, lot, the bar for the reptile. And then for the birds, how high do you think the bird's bar is going to go? It's going to go all the way up, up, up. All the way to that nine. You see that nine? So many votes, it reached the very top. And we'll color it in. So now, even if you didn't know, that nine was a larger number than seven. If I look at the height of those bars, which one is obviously taller? Nine. And what did that bar stand for? Nine. Whose vote, who voted, or which animal family got nine votes? Birds. Birds. See how the birds are for the purple bar? And the green is for who? Reptiles. The reptiles. So my taller bar is birds, which means birds win. the birds win, so to speak. Now, just because there were more votes for birds doesn't mean our animal is definitely a bird. We'll need more scientists to look at our notes and tell us what they think before everyone is in agreement, before everyone decides for birds or reptiles. But I am going to write a special report for all of the scientists around the world. And I will say that you, young scientists, decided that this mystery animal was, in fact, a bird. Sound good? Right. I want you to give yourselves a nice big pat on the back for your excellent science work today and all last week. And I hope that I will see you again somewhere out in the jungles, perhaps. Yes? Okay. Thank you so much for having me today. Thank you so much for coming, Bob. No problem.